Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Okay, so where I live, we do pork, sauerkraut, and mashed potatoes on New Year's Day. So here I have, um, it's about 6.5 pounds of boneless pork country style ribs or boneless country style spare ribs. Um, they're pretty big. I'm not sure if all of them will fit in the crock pot, but if they don't, then I'll just use the remaining for cat food this week, or I'll mix it into the ground chicken thighs and my, um, my beef for the cats. We have four cans of sauerkraut. We have brown sugar, and then tomorrow I will be making homemade mashed potatoes with the rest of potatoes. So what I do is I'm just gonna start taking these pork ribs out. We're gonna put them in the crock pot. Once I have them all in, I'm going to put the sauerkraut in. I do drain, I'll probably drain three cans, drain the juice out and then keep the one remaining. And then I sprinkle the brown sugar on top. And then I let it cook on low all night until tomorrow. So I'm gonna get this started and I'll show you my steps as I go. I just wanted to show you all these boneless pork ribs, the country style, are huge. Let's see if I can show you. Like, just to give you an example. Look how huge these are. That's one. That's another one back here. So, <clears throat> so I do have three left. I'm scared to try to put one more in there. I might not be able to fit all the sauerkraut. So I may just put the, the remaining three in a Ziploc and then use it for cat food. Oh, here comes Sebastian. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get the cans of sauerkraut open. <laughs> There's Sebastian. Okay, the only spice I added on here is black pepper. I'm not adding any salt because there's quite a bit of sodium in the sauerkraut. So I never add salt. At least I don't anymore. I may have in the past, but no longer. Just put black pepper. All right now I'm gonna put the four cans of sauerkraut on top. Okay, I got my four cans of sauerkraut on top. And now we're gonna put a layer of brown sugar. I love adding brown sugar because it gives it like a sweet and tangy taste. So I'll show you how much I add. You definitely don't have to add as much brown sugar as I do, but I like a lot. So I'll show you once I'm done. Okay, I got a nice layer of brown sugar on there. If I had to guess, it's probably maybe like a half cup packed of brown sugar. Now we're just gonna put the lid on. And we're gonna do temperature low. 10 hours, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done tomorrow. Hello everyone, my pork and sauerkraut is done. Just finished making the homemade mashed potatoes. So once I get this onto a plate, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I got it all on my plate. And of course, Sebastian making his debut. Let's give it a taste. I'm gonna burn my mouth, it's hot. Delicious. Happy New Year.